Guys, in this video, we are going over football drills for kids, some essential soccer drills for kids. I'm gonna be going over some of the things I really believe kids should be focusing on the most. I'm gonna give you some ideas, some drills, some skills that all kids should be working on often. Let's get into it. When I'm busy doing totally legitimate things, I rely on one football to give me all the news stories, fixtures, results, and more from the world of football. Download it for free today. So first, let's go over a few of the things, a few of the main things that a kid should really be working on heavily. And the first thing I really believe is getting a lot of touches on the ball, becoming as familiar with the ball as possible, getting it down to their feet as often as you can, and getting them to take different types of touches so that they can build the muscle memory to build the instinct to do these as they get older. Another thing that a kid should really heavily focus on is the fundamentals of the game. You know, we don't need to worry about complex stuff yet. You know, we're not even gonna worry about tactical and more soccer intelligence stuff yet. That will be developed later. Right now, developing the individual player by getting them comfortable with the ball is gonna be essential. Developing basic passing technique, basic shooting technique, basic dribbling technique, all of those fundamentals. And these are things that if kids work on often and very consistently and focus on these things, they're gonna be more well equipped to make better teams as they get older and to just be a better player as they move up. So speaking about getting a lot of touches on the ball, the first thing, um, first practice I wanna give for you kids, if you parents who have kids who are training, is juggling. Now juggling, is something you'll do actually throughout your career, um, or your kid will, to improve certain areas. It's a great warm up. Uh, but when you're younger, it's actually an incredible drill to help you improve your control and get touches in different ways. So when you get better, you're gonna be able to juggle, you know, pretty consistently, be able to do even more, more things like tricks and whatever as your control increases. Now, of course, as a kid, you're not gonna really, unless you've been working on it already a lot, be able to do all of this. So we're gonna do a few very simple things to get you started, and then you can work up to being able to juggle it continuously, to do different types of touches, to have better control in general. So the first drill is very, very simple. You're just gonna hold the ball, drop it to your foot, and hit it back up to yourself. Now, if you're a beginner, this actually will be more difficult than it seems. What you wanna do is hit it towards your laces and pop the ball back up. An alternative is to use your toes and pop it back up, not like that, but more like that. You'll notice when juggling, there are two really different techniques when you're using your foot you can do. This is more towards the toes, and this is more closer to my ankle on my laces. So you can work on both, but for now, we're gonna start with this. Drop it down, pop it up. Drop it down, pop it up. And don't worry if you're making mistakes at first. Do this 10 times, at least 10 good ones, with your one foot, and then move on to your other foot. And this is just getting you used to touching the ball in this way, to hitting the ball in this way, and it's gonna help you with juggling later. Now, if you're getting good at, pretty good at that, you can start making it a little harder by going one, two, back up to yourself, switching it up, one, two, back to yourself, one, two, okay? And that's the natural progression of that. If you're still struggling with these touches, keep doing this until you can get to the point where you're doing two touches. When you're at that point, maybe even try and do a few in a row. See if you can get to 10 pretty easily. Then maybe try on your toes, get to 10. The point is to always be progressing, to be doing a little bit better than you did last time. So even if you're struggling a little here, it's going out here like that, just getting it closer to your body would be progress. Other forms of juggling include using your thighs, your head, your shoulders. You can basically use any part except your hands and your arms. Uh, but for now, focus on the feet. Oh. Pop it back up to yourself. And then when you get better, you start incorporating other parts of your body. Even get your shoulders involved there. Bring it back into frame here. You can start doing a few tricks. But this is gonna be as you get a lot better at juggling. <laughs> All right, guys, so that was basic juggling. I highly recommend, especially for kids that you work on that often, get to the point where you can juggle consecutively uh, for a pretty good amount of time. See if you can get to the point where you can go to 100 and beyond and keep working on that every day. It's gonna help you control immensely, especially in the beginning. Now next, we wanna talk about getting the ball down to our feet because uh, that's where it's gonna be most of the time and getting comfortable with it down here. So we're gonna work on what's called ball mastery. Now, regard, uh, depending on what level you're on, you're gonna either go slower or faster Again, depending on how experienced you are. But these are another set of drills you can do pretty much every single day that are really gonna help 
um, your control over the ball and also get a ton of touches on the ball, which like I said earlier, is essential for kids. Um, getting tons and tons and tons of touch touches on the ball, getting comfortable with it, and ball mastery is going to help you get comfortable with the ball at your feet in close quarters in different ways. So we're gonna give you, I'll give you three and see if I wanna give you more than that, but just three to focus on. I have some other ball mastery videos you can look at once you get a little more advanced. So I'm gonna give you some very basic ones. These are ones what I learned around the age six, seven, or eight, perfect for kids. The first one is very simple, it's called toe taps. Now this one, it's gonna improve your balance, get you more comfortable with touching the top of the ball. It's gonna do a few different things, but it's the easiest, I would say, out of all ball mastery drills. And simply, you're just gonna get on your toes and do this as fast as you can. But at first, take it pretty slow. This is pretty slow. And later, you can start really going a little bit faster. But you're just gonna, you're just gonna start right here. You know, you can even go slower. You're going as fast as you can. Now, one thing you wanna notice, and I'll have close-ups of this, is I'm on my toes. On my toes, I'm not planting my feet on the ground like that. I'm on my toes the whole time. I'm going one hop, one after the other, okay? So that's the first one you could work on. And again, this is one you could do every single day. Um, it shouldn't tire you out. Okay, next one is another very simple one. And this one's just called bell taps. And what you're gonna do is hit the ball from your inside to the other inside repeatedly. So in a very slow manner, it looks like this. You're just again gonna be on your toes, going like this. For now, keep your head down, but when you get better, you wanna put your head up a little bit. And again, when you get better, you're gonna take it a little faster. But for now, just nice and slow. Stay on your toes, one foot to the other. If you make a mistake, don't worry about it. Grab it, go again and again. Just keep going. Now for each of these drills, I would say do it for a time, a set time, 30 seconds to a minute, and do three or four of those sets. Final one I'm gonna give you is another very simple one, uh, a little harder than the first two, and it's called triangles. This is gonna involve a few different touches, and it looks like this, again, very slowly. You drag it back here, hit it, hit it, back to the starting point. So it's a drag back, inside, like the bell taps, back to the starting point. So drag, bell tap, up, drag, bell tap up and then again once you get better you can do this a little faster okay I actually try to go too fast there so drag back again you're on your toes when you do this make sure you're getting both sides involved this one's a little more difficult so work on the first two before moving up onto this one but again do this keep it up if you can get your head up do that as well stay on your toes get a nice rhythm going for it and this is gonna help you out in many different ways as well. There's some skill moves you can learn that actually are developed through doing little movements like this. But these are the three ball mastery drills I want you to work on for now. And again, once you have these down and you can do them really fast, really well with good form, take a look at the other ball mastery videos I have. Next fundamental to look at is dribbling. Another very key fundamental that's gonna be improved upon as you get older. Um, and it's also gonna be essential no matter whatever level you play at. So I'm gonna give you some basic dribbling tips really quick. And the first one is when you're dribbling at speed, and this is a very common mistake early on for players when they haven't learned exactly how to dribble, is I see a lot of players kind of dribbling like this with the inside of their feet. This is not what you wanna be doing, especially if you wanna be able to move quickly. So from a very young age, if you're a young player or a parent watching this, we wanna develop dribbling with the laces or the outside of the foot. And I'll show, I'll have a clip come across of me doing it and a simple drill you can do. And really the simple way to do this at first is just to set a cone from one side to the other, 20 yards or so away, and just practice dribbling to it. Now I'll have an actual clip come across that shows you that. Make sure you're doing it on both sides as well. We'll go over some drills that incorporate a few turns and pivots and changes of direction, getting all sides involved when you dribble because you can't just dribble in a straight line and perform in a match but you need to learn this first. So simple dribble, just practice going to a cone and back, keeping the ball in control close to your body. You can push it out a little further if you're going faster, but keeping it in control. So practice going as fast as you can with the ball in control, and then challenge yourself to go faster and faster and faster. So I wanna give you a few more dribbling drills that you as a kid or your kid can do now these are a little more advanced, so you're not gonna do them at the speed I'm doing them in these examples, but I wanna give you these drills so that you can try them um, or give them to your kid to, to have a go because like I said, dribbling just in a straight line, um, you need to learn that first, how basic dribbling technique, 
but football dribbling is way more than that. It's cuts and turns, being able to dribble inside and outside and change directions quickly. So uh, these drills are ones you can do slowly for now and challenge yourself by going faster and faster over time, but will help with these different areas. So the first drill I'm gonna give you is just a very simple weaving drill. Now this can be done with or without cones. And the idea here is to take one touch with the inside, moving inside a little bit, and then to take one touch with the outside, moving to the outside, over and over in kind of a weaving pattern. Now in the beginning, if you're way more of a beginner and don't have as much experience, to make this easier, don't use any combs. And you'll just weave in and out with one foot, then the other foot, and then you're gonna use it, uh, do it with both feet together. Again, this is a little more advanced, but for some of you who have been playing longer, you'll be able to do this, and this will help you with dribbling, not just in a straight line, but using both parts of your feet on both sides. Again, you can also do this kind of drill with cones, although that will add to the difficulty because you have to be more precise, but when you feel ready, definitely add some cones in order to increase the challenge of this drill. This next drill is probably the most difficult one I'm going to give you, but it's great for many different reasons. Uh, this is one of my favorite drills to practice cutting and turning while also moving as fast as you can. It's called Suicide Turns, uh, named after one of the famous fitness drills where you do something similar but without the ball. Now with this one, again, you're going to take it very slow depending on your level, and this might be something you can't do right away and you need to build your way up to. Um, but setting up, I believe six to seven, maybe even eight cones, you're gonna go to the first cone, cut back, turn around to the starting cone, and then you go to the second cone, back to the starting cone, and you just keep following in this pattern until you've been to all of the cones. Now again, you're gonna wanna do this on both sides, your right and your left, and you can use just simple chops, cuts, and croits in order to help yourself turn. Now the idea here is to keep the ball in close control, as close to your body as you can, while also doing this as quickly as you can. The faster you can do the cuts and the chops, uh, the more effective this drill is gonna be. But just remember, if you need to, go slow as you're doing this drill, and then work up to speed as you get better. Now for you kids out there, you parents with kids, this is gonna be done in a very, very slow manner at first. And there may be lots of mistakes, but that's okay. Do it as slow and as deliberate as you need to um, so that you can get the movements down and then you can work up to speed. Final dribbling drill I'm gonna give you is just called zigzags. Now this one is also gonna work with your cuts and turns, um, but cutting sharply to the left or to the right around the cone. This won't be cutting back the other way or going 180 degrees back the other way. So for this one, you're gonna be able to go a little bit faster and you're gonna run directly at the first cone, cut around the cone as cleanly as you can, and then repeat through all of the cones. Now again, it, you're probably gonna have to take this very slow at first, and that's fine. But keep challenging yourself, go as fast as you can while challenging yourself and doing it, um, and as fast as you can while doing it with good form. Again, I know a lot of you are young players or your parents of young players. There is no expectation to be able to do this drill flawlessly or quickly yet. Um, but it is a drill that's going to help you with different aspects of your dribbling. And although this may traditionally be a drill for older players, there's no reason that kids can't start it now, just doing it in a slower fashion. All right, guys, that's going to do it for football drills for kids, essential soccer drills for kids, part one. We are going to have a part two because we need to go over fundamentals like passing and shooting and a couple of others. I also want to go over mindsets for kids that are going to help them in their growth. If I didn't want to make this a 20 minute or so video. So thank you so much for tuning into this one question of the day is out of all of these areas. Which one does your kid, or if you are a kid, which area do you need to work on the most? Let me know down below, and I can possibly give you some more drills and tips for that specific thing. Thanks guys so much for tuning into this video. I really do appreciate it. If you haven't already, make sure you get my free ebook Game Changer, which is going to give you 33 ways you can improve your game and stand out. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I put up on screen, and as always, I'll see you in the next video.